So we are going to focus uh, mainly on IS 1893 part 1, IS 13920 and IS 16700. So as we all know that almost uh, 5 plus years have already been passed uh, after release of this code and there are numerous online offline sessions uh, arranged by various experts on the different platforms but still there are practical difficulties in the industry when uh, it comes to the implement, uh, implementation of these uh, clauses into the uh, software or, or let's say into the real projects. So recently, uh, I think few of you might have attended uh, the live technical discussion wherein uh, Dr. Asok Jain shared uh, his uh, critical review about IS 1893 part 1 2016. And while arranging this event, when we launched this campaign in the social media, we got uh, more than 300 plus important questions uh, related to earthquake resistant design. And that was uh, our uh, mode of inspiration, which uh, actually motivated us for arranging this kind of a uh, a short online course related to earthquake resistant uh, design so uh, broadly these are the areas which we uh, which we intend to target during this course which is uh, basics of structural dynamics uh, then discussion on important clauses of uh, is 1893 13920 uh, implementation of different clauses of is codes in etabs and stead uh, so related to software, I'll be sharing uh, my experience, like how each and every clause can be uh, implemented in the software. And, and the, at the same time, there are gap areas uh, between software and the IS code. So that also I, I will attempt to uh, highlight based on my study models and based on my uh, experience so far. And, and we'll also uh, attempt to discuss the possible solutions for the current practical difficulties which are being uh, faced uh, in the industry as of today. So uh, objective of the course, we can say uh, that the overall objective is to discuss the fundamentals of earthquake resistant design, uh, which enables the practicing engineers to take an appropriate engineering decision, let's say in case of uh, ambiguities. All the participants once again, see as a, uh, mentioned by Mr. Bhavin that uh, our experience with our earlier uh, presentation about about a month back was that, uh, you know, the, the designers uh, are doing the, the, doing the uh, earthquake resistant design, but uh, quite a few of them are not aware with the background of structural dynamics. And this uh, put them in some disadvantage and they couldn't understand the behavior of the software, behavior of the structure, and uh, what to do with the various clauses. So we decided to plan this course so that at least uh, we try to give some background of the structural dynamics also. So one thing I must tell you that this background of the structural dynamics contains a lot of mathematics, equations. I only display those equations just for the sake of completeness. I don't intend to scare you, nor I expect you to go through those equations. The only purpose is that you should know that there's a lot of mathematics behind structural dynamics, behind your frequency analysis, your mode shapes, and mode superposition, and the CQC, and all those things. 